Cornell University announced four students were suspended following a pro-Palestine demonstration on campus. Yeah, like this encampment is, like I said earlier, it's the culmination of us trying for weeks and months now to get our university to um, divest using their own guidelines. The tent set up at Cornell University's Arts Quad is part of a demonstration organized by the Coalition for Mutual Liberation. The student-led group wants the university to divest from companies that are aiding Israel's military involvement in Palestine. So specifically we are targeting the companies that make the weapons and machines that um, are killing people. We believe that um, it is within Cornell's guidelines to divest from these companies considering how many civilians have been killed. The Cornell University Board of Trustees approved a standard in 2016 stating the university can consider divesting its endowment assets from companies whose actions are unethical. And so we really feel like we're just telling the university to do their own jobs, really. The encampment has been there since Friday, and Cornell University responded with a statement that day saying the school's Climate Justice Cornell group did register and get permission for an art installation at the Arts Quad that day without tents. The university advised the students they were dishonest in the registration in violation of university policy and to relocate between Day Hall and Sage Chapel to minimize disturbances. But today, the tents remain standing. I've been to Israel many times to see my family. Master's student Savan attended the event and is one of the many Jewish students at Cornell. She disagrees with the Israeli government's military involvement. To me, I mean, it, it is, it's goes against everything that I as a Jewish person believe. And that is not to say that what happened on October 7th was not horrible and for me very frightening. And every day since then I, it has been frightening. I worry for the lives of my family. But the response that the Israeli state has taken is beyond anything that should have been done. Cornell says four of the students who organized the demonstration have been suspended temporarily because they did not comply and in a statement said more suspensions will likely be coming as well as referrals to HR for employee participants. I feel like it made students a little bit more afraid to speak out or protest. For me, I have not felt unsafe on this campus, I will say that. Cornell says none of the suspended students have been denied housing or dining privileges, nor access to student health services. Sonia Ellison, Big Fox News, Ithaca.